Good morning, boys and girls. Let's start with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Dear God, please help all the sick people get well. Please help all the children who don't have a family. And please help me do the best that I can to be like Jesus. And may we all be together again very soon. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's talk about the calendar. If yesterday was Thursday, today is? That's right, Friday. If yesterday was April 23rd, today is? That's right, April 24th. Let's look at the digits that make a 24. The 2 tells us that we have, right, 2 groups of 10. And 4 ones, 24. You could make a number sense say 20 plus 4 equals 24. And if today is Friday, tomorrow will be? That's right, Saturday. Repeat after me. Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. En Espanol, hoy es el viernes 24 de abril 2020. Good job. And today we are on our 140th day of learning. So that's 100 plus 40 equals 140. Okay, now I did say that we were going to have a special surprise today for our lesson, and we are. However, there's a story that I wanted to read you because I think you'll enjoy it and I think it's funny. Okay, we're going to continue with our new high frequency words. Little and big. Let's spell it. L-I-T-T-L-E, little. Now let's spell big with a big voice. B-I-G, big. Let's do that again. L-I-T-T-L-E, little. B-I-G, big. Okay, so you're going to help me read again. When you see little, you'll say little. When you see big, you'll say big. This story is called The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. The true story. Do you guys know the true story? Let's see. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs. Or at least they think they do. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story. Because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. So who do you think is telling the story? Right. Not the pigs. I'm the wolf. Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started. But it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves like to eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks, you probably wouldn't think you were big and bad. Right? You just eat what we'll see. But, like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. Hmm. Really? Let's find out what this real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar? Way back once upon a time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I had a terrible sneezing cold and I ran out of sugar. So, I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now, this neighbor happened to be a pig. And he wasn't too bright or either. He had built his whole house made out of straw. Can you believe it? Who in the right mind would build a house out of straw? So there he is walking down to his neighbor, the pig, to borrow a cup of sugar because he wants to make his granny a birthday cake. Sounds like a nice wolf, right? 
So, of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell in. I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house, so I called. Little pig, little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake, and that's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on, and uh, I huffed, uh, and I snuffed. Itcher! And I sneezed a great sneeze. And you know what? The whole straw house fell down, right in the middle of a pile of straw. There was the first little pig, dead as a doornail. He had been home the whole time. Right, he could have answered the door. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good piece of ham lying there in the straw, so I ate it up. I think it's Think of it as a big cheeseburger, just lying there. So I ate it. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar. So I went to the next neighbor's house. Now this neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smart, but not much. He had built his house out of just sticks. I rang the bell on the stick house and nobody answered. So I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And he yelled back, go away, you big bad wolf. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin chin. I'm shaving those little whiskers. I had just grabbed the doorknob and I felt another sneeze coming on. Oh boy. Oh, huh. Trying to hold it back. I, I huffed and I snuffed and I tried to cover it, but Achoo! a great big sneeze. And you're not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell down just like his brother's. And when the dust cleared, there was the second little pig, dead as a doornail. Wolf's honor. Wolf's honor, I promise. The house fell on him. Now, you know that food will spoil if you just leave it out. So I did the only thing there was to do. I ate dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. It was getting, I was getting awfully full and my cold was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have the cup of sugar to bake a cake for my dear old granny. So I went to the next house. And this guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have the brains in the family. He built his house out of bricks. I knocked on the brick house door, no answer. So I called, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what the rude little porker answered? Get out of here. You big, whoops, a big bad wolf, don't bother me. His belly's getting fat. He's got two piggies in there. Talk about impolite. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar, and he couldn't give me even one little cup for my dear old sweet granny's birthday cake? What a pig. I was just about to go home and maybe 
make a nice birthday card instead of a cake when I felt my cold coming on again. Oh my, oh, another sneeze. So I hopped in, I, oh, and I snuffed, and I sneezed once again. And then the third little pig yelled, and your old granny can sit on a pin. Well, that wasn't very nice. Why didn't, ha his, why didn't the house fall down on this sneeze? Right, because this pig was smart. He built it with bricks. Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow. But when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, of course, I was trying to break down the pig's door. And the whole time, I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real scene. The rest, as they say, is history. The, the news reports found out about the two pigs that I had for dinner. They figured a sick guy's going to borrow a cup of sugar didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed up the story to make it sound more exciting. They said that I was huffing and puffing and blowing their house down, and they made me out to be a big, bad wolf. And that's it. The real story. I was framed. And maybe you could loan me a cup of sugar? He's in jail. So he never got to make that cake for his granny. But the, that's supposed to be the true story of the three little pigs. Do you believe it? I don't know. I think they're both fairy tales, right? They are. But they're cute, right? Okay, so for your follow-up activities today, you're going to do this booklet, like we would in class, little and big. Okay, you're going to highlight little and circle big. And if you'd like to color the pictures when you're finished, you may. Now, when your mom and dad print it, it might be two separate pages and they'll have to fold it. Okay, also you will practice writing little and big. Trace one, write one. Trace one, write one. Remember, proper penmanship position. Slow and steady, right? If you take your time and use the lines, you're going to grow up to be an excellent driver because you'll be able to stay in the road, right? Good. And then you will also do these two pages, and you're very familiar with how to do them. Okay. Hopefully I'll be back with that uh, fun surprise lesson for you, okay? I'll see you in a little while.